Peace, peace, peace. I greet y'all in the universal greetings of peace. In the Arabic language, assalamu alaikum. Um, all right. So this segment right here is called On the Mistake of Defying the Original Young Laws Party. All right, so this is basically, this is the words. Of the one who put the PCN together is um the chairman, the national chairman of the Nobu Young Laws Party. And his name is um, Pablo Pueblo. All right, so this is his words. I'm reading his words. Um, when I was involved in the Almighty Land King Queen Nation, there were many factional conflicts, some of which unfortunately I took part in. The greatest argument of these were who were the original representation of the Almighty Land King Nation and who were the fakes. The page capitalizes further in order to divide the nation, regional cohesion of the Almighty Land King Queen Nation, the pigs use the Almighty Land King Creation's greatest weakness, which is the membership codependence on charismatic leadership. Basically, it's talking about, like, you know, waiting for a charismatic leader, like, you know, for some people that's dependent on a charismatic person, such as a King Tone for a bygone era, things of that nature. That's what they're talking about. Um, you know, like Graham for Massachusetts. Um, Things like that, like individuals who are revolutionary minded, political minded, that, you know, was able to galvanize the people, um, that had the potential, things of that nature. That's what he's talking about, charismatic leaders. That sometimes people can't move unless it's a charismatic leader in front of them. Um, so that's what this is saying. Now, the pigs capitalize this further in order to divide the national National regional cohesion of the Old Man and King Queen Nation. The pigs use the Old Man and King Queen Nation greatest weakness. I just, I just broke that down. Uh, instead of using the Nobu Young Laws Party, we'll be using Nobu Young Laws Party. will be using the democratic centralism method of leadership. All right. It was a counterintelligence program. Now, basically, what what he's saying right here is that you know the system they use what they call the 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 imperialist government. The imperialist regime, the oppressor, um, the government, the net, um, also utilize a new, a new, a new form of counterintelligence program. This is a stinky one. This one is called the National Gang Crime Research Center. And what happened is in 1996, at that time, this National Gang Crime Research Center uh, was headed by Professor George Knox, and I quote: "As a gang, they." in parentheses, on my land, King Queen Nation, have often taken advantage of any political corruption they could. These two branches, North Side and South Side. All right, so he's talking about Chicago. Um, and all right, now, you see, you see off the back, once you do anything good and positive and productive, oh, whoever's helping them, they gotta be corrupt. You know, so this is why No We On Lost Party is No We On Lost Party. Um, have always existed in a Chinese competition with each other. If these two leaders were in federal custody facing federal charges, then a, a secession crisis could ensure. Now, with, uh, with the pigs subtle innuendo and legal jargon, there was no doubt that the pigs intended and effectively use of a more subtle and advanced counterintelligence program against the old my land king queen nation. And guess what? They said it worked. It says national leaders were federally, federally convicted and secession crisis didn't serve as it predicted and remains a major divisive issue today. And the new millennium, millennium, the new millennium counterintelligence program, or in other words, COINTELPRO, uh, are much more clever. The objective of the pigs is to legalize as many COINTELPRO tactics as they can get away with by taking advantage of words such as domestic terrorism such as security threat groups or political corruption. All the tactics that were used against the American Indian movement, against the Black Panther Party, against the original Young Lords Party, cannot be found legalized via federal RICO statutes, STG policies up in the prisons, and all homeland security statutes. Every American crisis brings us that much closer to legalizing 
police state tactics for the alleged higher cause of living in a safer American community. Now, it is for this reason that the Nobuyono's party is careful not to fall into this new millennium coin tail pro. Feel me? We will analyze the past of the original Yonlo's party in order to revive their righteous practices because that is the revolutionary thing to do. However, it is bad practice to defy or place above the original Yonlo's party in comparison to the noble Yonlo's party. Simply because the Yonlo's party came first. Our only competition should be how we can best serve the party. Moreover, the masses. We accept in a most welcome manner correct revolutionary dialectics from those original members of the Young Lost Party. We welcome this, but we are careful to recognize sincere, productive revolutionary comments and criticism. We use Eldridge Cleaver from the original Black Panther Party to illustrate our point. He said and taught us some righteous lessons during this time as a Black Panther, both through his correct and incorrect practices. When he became a supporter of the imperialist regime, his criticism against the Black Panther Party and the Black Liberation Army were no longer valid. Of course, he's not. Now he's working for the system, you know. But somehow he lost his mental youth, his revolutionary confidence. And yet, since he was a respected member of the revolutionary community, some comrades paid attention to his lesser advance, fucked up method of analysis. If it ain't a dialectical materialist method of analysis, then it's a lesser advanced method of analysis to ours. Now, there is little doubt that a popular method of attack by pigs will be to publicly put original Young Lords Party members or practice against Noble Young Lord Party members and let the divide ball run from there. Uh, we are prepared for this and we recognize this action for what it is an attempt to break the revolutionary struggle of a new generation Eso no va a pasar. And I'm going to tell you why eso no va a pasar. Because I personally done communicated with the new era young lords. I done communicated with their chairman. I done communicated with the cacique. I done communicated with the new era young lords party. Um, so the divisive, the conflict, the divine is not happening. All right. Now, if a 60... If a 60-year-old political party deteriorated into a revisionist, ultra-leftist party and a five-year-old party maintained an exemplary socialist standard, which party should be the vanguard, right? Now, it is the party cadre comrade who carries the most correct and selfless socialist standard that should be the central guidance to those that strive to obtain those same standards or better. So so all that who's original and who's fake is bullshit to the noble Young Lord's party comrades. We place the value of a party or organization not solely in its longevity or its originality, but in its greater revolutionary practice. We love you and salute you, original Young Lords Party, as well as all other vanguard parties that paved the way for our existence. We honor you by adopting the beautiful name you once claimed, but made defunct, and we made the word Lord genderless in the same way that Nefertiti was a pharaoh, and we went from your insightful efforts, your literature, and we criticize your lesser advanced theories and practices. We can never replace you, but we will do our best to succeed you. One Lord equals one people. Stay noble. Peace.